I have always loved medicine. I love taking care of people. One of the first people that came in that got insurance off the marketplace was a beautiful young woman who was pregnant with her first baby. She was gonna be a single mom. She was a hairdresser and she was so proud and so excited to have health insurance. Her insurance cost her $750 a month and it had a $6,000 deductible. She paid every penny for her baby out of pocket because she didn't even meet her deductible with the cost of, of childbirth. I just thought that this was egregious and that I couldn't just complain about how wrong things were. I needed to be a part of the solution and so the seat came open and I decided to run. We need to look at the cost of health care and we need to make it more cost effective. Many people with health insurance don't even have access to health care. So inevitably we have to have a conversation about health insurance where the costs are escalating. But we also need to have conversations about how we can reduce the cost of actual services in healthcare. We were aware that the health plans make it an option for their uh, members to go online and look at services and see what it costs for services at different locations that they approve. Well, I asked them years ago, why can't you give that to the doctors? We would direct patients to the lower cost locations for their mammogram, for their colonoscopy, whatever the procedure is. If we were aware what was lower, we don't have access to that health pricing information. So when FGA came to me and said, we'd like you to look at this right to shop, that was exactly what I had been talking about. Right to shop helps us incentivize and motivate patients to choose the lower cost initiatives or lower cost interventions so that we lower the cost of healthcare. It's common sense.